Hello viewers, Mr. Nyati, your presenter here with another video on the same past paper, which is GCE 2023 in section B. And we continue this time with question B4. And may I suggest that you like the video, share the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and leave a comment in the comment section. We move on to question B4. The question says, uh, figure 4.1, Figure B4.1 shows a crane at a construction site raising a steel block of mass 100 kg through a vertical height of 16 meters in 20 seconds. So in this question, you will be asked the work done, the, the, the weight of the, the block and all those things and the power because there is time here. Those are the things that you should always consider when answering these questions. You should always align your thinking in a way that it predicts what the question would be by just looking at the way the diagram is and the data that is being given in the question. So we have a power input. So if we have power input, we may find the power output and be able to calculate the efficiency of the crane. So let's move forward. So we have this, the pulley here, you know, Okay, and then you have the chain, the steel block of 100 kg, and then there's this height of 16 meters, the ground, the power input, uh, input, and all those things. So the question now says, calculate the work done by the crane. It's the crane doing the work done. So here we're going to write the data. This is question B4A, command number one. What is the data? Well, the data that we have, we have, uh, what do we have in the data? We have, uh, uh, we have uh, the, the, the force, we can find the force because we have uh, the mass there. So on the data, first of all, we have the mass, okay, we have, uh, what else do we have? And since we are told that it has to do with vertical height, so G must be considered. G must be considered. And then uh, what else can we consider from there? And also the distance. In this case, the distance is H, which is height, because we are told that this is the height. What is the mass? 100 kg. What else do we have? G is 10 Newton per kg. We're not saying uh, 10 meters per second square because it's not uh, moving on a horizontal straight line, but it is being lifted. So that is basically force acting on a kg. There is 10 newtons of force acting on every one kg of mass. So the height here is 16 meters. Okay, so the question is calculate the work done by the crane. Now, what is work done? Basically work done, is the product of force and the distance in the direction of force, okay? So work done here would be uh, force times distance. Now, in this case, the force would be calculated by multiplying these two, would be weight times distance, which is height. But remember, our weight is mg and the h being uh, multiplied by weight here, which is mg. So from there, we can say what is our mass? 100 times 10 times 16. What is the answer? Well, the answer would be 16 with three zeros, and this one would be in joules. This would be our work done for question one uh, B four one A one. Then we go to question uh, A two. What is the power developed or calculate the power developed by the crane? Well, we need to know that from here we can come up with. Uh, 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 another thing. So this data that we got is incomplete because there is also time here. Time is 20 seconds. 
and this time around they are demanding for power. So Roman numero two, the question there would be uh, power is equal to work done over time taken. What is the work done? Work done is 16,000 joules divided by the time taken, which is 20 seconds. And when you divide there, you are going to this one here, it is 800 uh, watts, okay? Uh, it is in watts, yes, watts. Power is calculated in watts. We move forward. Uh, given that the power input to the motor is 1,000 uh, watts, which is this one here in the question, calculate the efficiency of the crane. Well, the efficiency of the machine is calculated by this formula. So there is this formula that we normally use. So we say efficiency, efficiency is equal to uh, power output output over power input we multiply this by 100% okay there's no machine that is 100% efficient but some questions come with that condition to say imagine the machine was 100% efficient or a transformer okay and then we are going to say, what have we found here? It is 800. This is our power output. And the power input is 1,000 watts. We multiply this by 100%. What is the answer? Well, if we do the math here, we we'll discover that it will be 0 0.8 times 100%. Uh, and the answer would be 80 percent that is the efficiency of the machine so this is basically the calculation on b4 and uh, i hope this was helpful bye, -bye.